Due to the power of open intelligence, all of the small, funny things that we have as human beings, you know, annoying each other, criticizing each other, blaming each other, gossiping about others, blaming the world, and all of that just totally subsides. There's really no room for this... Um, ways of behaving anymore and even in, in a small microcosmos as two people you know living life chopping vegetables cooking and sleeping together all, all of this dynamic energy that used to be focused on negativity and criticism just slips away naturally and and that's beautiful that's uh, for us we are constantly amazed by the results that we see in each other and in ourselves you know and this is the demonstrations of the results of relying on in on the comprehensive intelligence that we have in our disposal rather than relying on the constant descriptions, thoughts, emotions, sensations that we have. Because those are always changing. I mean, since I came here this morning, I had thousands of data streams, you know, thoughts, emotions, sensations, feeling secure, feeling insecure, feeling confident, feeling awkward, but it's constantly changing. And if I try to zoom in and just take it to be who I am, really, I'm, I can say, okay, I'll keep my language there, but uh, I'm screwed, or I wanted to use uh, something stronger, but my parents are here, so I can't do that. <laughs> so, um, we don't want to do that anymore to ourselves, and really treat ourselves with total respect. So if we want to know what's open intelligence, the, the direct boom or the introduction is to simply stop thinking. And then you know what is open intelligence. You stop thinking for a moment and you see that your beautiful intelligence, your beautiful mind is, is always alert, open and free. That's, that's what allows you to see me right now thinking. And it's not some kind of a weird state, it's just you stop thinking, okay? You check it out and you see that there is a vast intelligence or just the alertness that allows you to know that you are here experiencing everything that you're experiencing right now. So it's really important to know it about ourselves that we have this intelligence and that we don't necessarily have to live our life based on dots, on connecting the dots, you know. I was born and I'm like that and I'm like this and I'm like that and I don't like this uh, 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 and you know I, I'm good in that but I'm not good in that and that's really it can be okay for a while but it's very limiting. So uh, open intelligence which allows us to know all of these data streams, people, places and things, so thoughts and emotions, both of them are inseparable. They are not two. So we don't need to choose open intelligence or data streams, we simply rest deeply in open intelligence and the data streams they just flow on by. And the introduction is key because especially these days whether it's from spiritual path, scientific, psychological, medical, there are so many ideas about what human beings are and what our capacities and lots of vagueness, I would say, regarding what our capacities, what are beneficial qualities and activities as human beings. And so the balance view training here is really important because we, our sole purpose and really hard desire is to empower everyone who is interesting to gain complete assurance in open intelligence. For me it was gradual, the introduction was amazing, like wow that's cool, okay I have this open intelligence but I completely forgot about it, you know, when the awkwardness came up or the deep sadness or, or just extreme joy, whatever, or my many ideas about what open intelligence is or what a human being is. So, simply taking it short moment at a time, normalize the experience, you know, all the books that we've read and all the ideas that we had, it completely normalizes it. It brings it back to human beings and how can we do it and achieve what is already achieved. Having open intelligence 24 hours, we just need to recognize it, that's all. And that's the key of short moments. We choose to recognize instinctively open intelligence and not focus so much on the data, you know, just allow it to flow on by. Be, be, you know, like in Go, we all should be relaxed. So be relaxed internally, allow the data to flow on by. It doesn't require drugs, alcohol, sex or parties, it just requires a decision, a commitment, a choice, you see. So when you are in a meeting like this, you, maybe you don't understand everything if it's your first time or maybe your hundredth time, that might be the case as well, but you can be sure that instinctively you will start to experience this open intelligence because now you know. 
Maybe you are unsure about it, maybe it's not totally obvious, but now you know that you have a choice to empower yourself in every single moment. And it's up to you. Waiting for a special moment, I mean, I, I got tired of it at one point, I have to say, honestly. The meeting with this training really supported me, because in a really young age I said, okay, I don't seek anymore, I found it. And you can call it whatever you like. I, I like the term optimal, being an optimal human being, like we all are, already are. And I loved your question about awkwardness. I mean, I have it all the time. You know, sitting here, it's awkward. People are looking at you, <laughs> you're looking at them, people having thoughts and emotions, and, and you have thoughts and emotions, but really there's no need to indulge, avoid, or replace our data streams. And le let's give a practical example. Awkwardness arise. So we have the option of indulging it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm oh, wow. Uh -huh. Many people. Mm, okay. Uh, okay. I'm always like that. I was always like that. I'm. I'm. Re okay. I need to go to a, uh, release my insecurity while screaming at the beach. Okay. You know, in the, going to the story and completely forgetting open intelligence, replacing that. Okay. Awkwardness is a negative data stream, so we need to have a positive one. Like, I'm so. Sec I'm strong. I'm confident. I'm able to speak in front of people. Why? Yes, can. Yeah, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. You know, pushing some positive data streams into our system where we are totally lost. Again, we forget open intelligence. We are focusing on changing what is already perfect. Awkwardness is perfect, naturally perfect. And then, okay, so we indulged, we avoided, and now uh, we replaced, and avoid is like, mm-mm. An open intelligence person shouldn't feel awkwardness, that's just not right. So we do everything to avoid this dynamic energy. And you know, I used to live my life like that and I, woo, it took so much of my energy, it took so much of my time, I read so many books, I went to different courses, I, I, I hoped and I feared and I, I seeked and I seeked and I traveled in India in local buses to find the answers and <laughs> I flew to different places, I met many people, I was in strange conversations with people who talked about the mind and the ego and the scariness about being alive and all of that and wow, just relaxing for a short moment and seeing that all of the people are here are feeling awkwardness at least once a day. So it's not just you. So that's good. You know that you are connected. It's not just you and your small little world of awkwardness. And that's the data stream. That's how we blow together data streams of all of society. So it's really good. And again, I, I experienced lots of awkwardness, but it's no longer awkward. I really got used to being awkward. <laughs> Not knowing what to say in front of 100 people, 200 people, that's fine to, for me. I mean, I know what to rely on. And it does take time to get used to all of our sensations. The small things that are running now in the body, the thoughts and emotions, all of this is just the dynamic energy of benefit. Why benefit? I don't know. <laughs> it's just the case. <laughs> Benefit, benefit. A everything that we experience is just beneficial. We, at least in the beginning, we can see that strong affliction just remind us to rest deeply in the powers of great benefit or to rely on the support structure of balanced view. And the support structure of balanced view is the greatest gift ever given to humanity. I would say it really without even blinking. It means I can look, uh, look directly in your eyes and say that's the most beautiful gift that was ever given to humanity because people have the choice to have a, a community of other people, human beings, ordinary. And as you see, we are not playing around here. It's not about us trying to look special or you might think that this is the case, but it's not. And, and you know, it's just sharing our direct experience. So, so you have a community of friends who are choosing the th same thing, empowerment respectful relating, cooperation rather than argument and criticism. That's a good place to be. And then we have the tool of short moments, which wherever you go, going on the beach, going to Saturday night market, going back to the West, you can take a short moment of open intelligence and these become automatic and continuous. And we have the trainers who are just there to support you 24-7. We have life support, we have second life, we have lots of live, lively things going on just to support people in, in the instinctive recognition of open intelligence and the trainings, audios.
you just hear this beautiful song about yourself, reading that, writing it out, participating in training, all of this just, uh, yeah, for me it's great, it's really, it feels so good and I'm not waiting for a special moment, every moment is special, every moment provides such a unique opportunity and really affliction bring them on. <laughs> If you feel totally lost and you're un you feel incapable of recognizing open intelligence, that's a really good moment to take it easy. To really take it easy and just to rely on the Four Mainstays. And, and at one point, uh, you know how many people are scared of non-recognition of open intelligence or, or anything like that? At one point you see that non-recognition is just the next data stream. <laughs> So there's no one to blame, there's no one to criticize, the, even no need to avoid this one. It's just like, okay, so I don't recognize open intelligence. That's my thought right now, so what? And then I think about ice cream. <laughs> they have a great ice cream just across the road, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I'm awkward again. Mm. Mental and emotional stability, complete mental and emotional stability. I can't tell you how amazing it is, and many of you know already, increasing mental and emotional stability where there's no longer, there are no longer problems. <laughs> I mean, there's no, there's no like hiding away and not seeing the problems of the world, but there's, there's just no, nothing going on actually. Just seeing solutions, how we can cooperate even better, which decisions we can take that will be of most benefit to all. And if we don't know which decision to make, the, you know, the time of just relaxing with it for a while is great. For me it was really helpful. And then you see that you don't really need to tense up in order to take a decision. You know how decision making can be like, I have to know now and you know, all, all tension and trying to think about it. And then you see, okay, it's easy, at one point you'll just know like you know how to move your hand without thinking about it or nod your head or that's all the, that's the process of decision making i feel really awkward right now <laughs> <laughs> did i speak too much was you know what in bali is thinking about me does she still love me after this talk <laughs> you know we are so simple, we are so ordinary, and really, when I met the training, and I, was, I, I didn't get much of it, but when I got it, you know, just realized that there's a great potential. I, I knew there's a great potential, and I have lots of more to learn, and I was like, Candice, you're a genius, I can't believe it, that you put everything that everyone is trying to achieve in such a simple formula. Short moments, training, trainer, community, done and you have the most happiest life, pro most productive life, most beautiful life, sharing and giving with others. W what else do we want? Do you want to chase after experiences, hoping that you'll get something you want? So stop now. <laughs> Why to continue with something that doesn't work, that never worked?